Are you feeling overwhelmed by the constant stream of thoughts in your mind? You're not alone in this experience. In today's fast-paced world, having clear and focused thinking can feel like a rare superpower. However, there is hope. The ancient Stoics, masters of the mind, have provided a treasure map for navigating mental fog and unlocking inner clarity. This video will explore 11 powerful Stoic lessons that can transform your thinking and bring about a more fulfilling life. This is not just theoretical philosophy, but a practical toolkit that you can use to achieve greater mental clarity and peace. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay updated with each video as we delve deeper into each transformative lesson. Join our community of learners and share your experiences and insights in the comments below. We can support and encourage each other on the journey to clearer thinking. Lesson number one, embrace doubt and question assumptions. The Stoics had an insightful perspective on the human condition. They believed that true wisdom stems from recognizing the vastness of what we don't know. This may seem counterintuitive, but Seneca pointed out that expectancy can hinder us from taking action. When we hold on to assumptions without questioning them, we build mental barriers that prevent us from seeing clearly and responding effectively. So what can we do to break free from these self-imposed limitations and cultivate the clear thinking that the Stoics advocated for? The answer lies in embracing doubt and questioning our assumptions. Here's how. Firstly, we need to deconstruct our initial thoughts. Our brains naturally generate quick judgments based on limited information and ingrained biases. These initial thoughts might seem intuitive, but they can be flawed. We can challenge them by asking ourselves, what evidence supports this thought? Are there alternative perspectives that I still need to consider? Could my biases be influencing my interpretation? By actively interrogating our initial thoughts, we can chip away at the cognitive biases that cloud our judgment and lead us astray. Secondly, we should seek out dissenting voices. We tend to surround ourselves with people who share our views, creating echo chambers reinforcing our biases. To broaden our understanding of the world and expose ourselves to blind spots in our thinking, we should intentionally seek out diverse perspectives, opposing viewpoints, challenging arguments, and unfamiliar experiences. Thirdly, we must embrace the power of what-if questions. Instead of accepting things at face value, we should explore alternative scenarios, consider unintended consequences, and challenge the status quo. This mental agility allows us to anticipate problems and make more informed decisions. Fourthly, we can practice devil's advocacy. We can identify potential flaws, weaknesses, and counter-arguments for our thoughts and beliefs. This self-scrutiny, inspired by the stoic practice of negative visualization, strengthens our arguments and exposes logical fallacies. Finally, we should find joy in intellectual humility. True wisdom lies in acknowledging the limits of our knowledge and being open to changing our minds based on new evidence or perspectives. Intellectual humility is the foundation of clear thinking and lifelong learning. It's important to remember that questioning assumptions is not about fostering self-doubt, but empowering ourselves to think critically and make well-reasoned decisions. By adopting these stoic principles, we can unlock the door to a more transparent, sharper mind, ready to navigate the world's complexities with wisdom and grace. So, let's embark on this journey of intellectual exploration, question boldly, and discover the true potential of our thinking. Lesson number two, define your values and goals. Imagine setting out on a journey across a vast ocean without any tools to guide you. You would be at the mercy of the changing winds and currents, unsure of your destination and direction. However, 
If you had a reliable compass to guide you and a clear destination in mind, you could navigate with purpose even through the most challenging conditions. This is the importance of having clear values and goals. They serve as your compass and map, guiding you through life's unpredictable currents. The Stoics were known for their emphasis on self-examination and purposeful living. According to Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, live each day diligently, examine yourself. He understood the significance of introspection and clarity of purpose in navigating life's complexities. To plot your own course, you must begin with a self-discovery journey and adhere to certain principles. Firstly, you must dive deep into your values and identify what truly matters to you. This could be integrity, compassion, creativity, or something else entirely. Reflect on your experiences, emotions, and aspirations to determine your core principles even when facing challenges. This will help you establish a decision-making foundation that aligns with your core values. Once you comprehend your values, you can convert them into concrete aspirations and goals. Consider long-term aspirations and smaller stepping stone goals. Ask yourself what meaningful contributions you want to make to the world, what skills and knowledge you want to cultivate, and what experiences you want. Establishing clear goals provides direction and motivation. It's vital to ensure that your goals align with your core values, not external pressures or fleeting desires. Ask yourself if your goals align with your deepest values. If achieving them will contribute to your sense of purpose and fulfillment, and if you're willing to make sacrifices and face challenges to achieve them. Finally, it's crucial to embrace flexibility because life is a dynamic voyage, not a fixed destination. Be prepared to adapt your goals as you learn and grow. New experiences, unforeseen challenges, and evolving values may necessitate course corrections. Embrace flexibility and remain open to adjustments while staying true to your core values. The Stoics can be a source of inspiration when aligning values and goals. Look to the writings of Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca for guidance on self-reflection purpose-driven living and navigating life's challenges with equanimity. Defining your values and goals is a continuous process, not a one-time event. With consistent self-reflection, adaptation, and the wisdom of the Stoics as your guide, you can chart a course toward a fulfilling and authentic journey. So set sail confidently, knowing that your values and goals are your compass, guiding you towards a life filled with meaning and purpose. Lesson number three, beware of cognitive biases. Imagine walking through a dense forest with a malfunctioning compass. Every turn becomes a risk, taking you deeper into unknown territory. Unfortunately, our brains are not always reliable compasses either. They use mental shortcuts, known as cognitive biases, that can distort reality and lead us astray. Like the Stoics, who carefully examined their judgments, we must be aware of these biases and actively reduce their impact. Cognitive biases are patterns of deviation from rational thinking. While they help us process information quickly, they can also create errors and distortions in our judgment. Here are some common biases and ways to combat them. Confirmation bias. Have you ever noticed how we tend to cherry pick information that supports our viewpoint while ignoring everything that challenges it? This is confirmation bias, a cognitive bias that affects all humans. It can blind us to the truth and prevent us from making sound decisions. So it's crucial to be aware of and overcome it whenever possible. This creates a self-reinforcing cycle, making it difficult to remain open-minded. How to combat the bias. Actively seek out opposing viewpoints and challenge your assumptions. Read articles with differing perspectives, debate respectfully, 
and consider alternative explanations. Availability bias. We overestimate the probability of events based on readily available examples. For instance, seeing a plane crash on the news might make you fear flying, even though it is statistically safe. How to combat the bias? Base your judgments on facts and statistics, not just vivid anecdotes. Gather comprehensive data and consider the broader context before drawing conclusions. Anchoring bias. We give undue importance to the first piece of information we encounter, using it as a starting point for subsequent judgments. For example, an initial discount might make a product seem more valuable than it actually is. How to combat the bias? Be mindful of starting points and initial offers. Collect multiple data points before making a decision. Compare prices, features and benefits objectively. Bandwagon effect. We tend to adopt beliefs or behaviours because others do so, regardless of their intrinsic merit. This can lead to following trends or joining groupthink, even if it goes against our individual judgement. How to combat the bias? Think critically about why you believe something. Consider your own values and evidence before blindly following the crowd. In-group bias. We favour members of our group, family, friends, colleagues, over outsiders, even when the situation does not warrant it. It is essential to keep in mind that biased or discriminatory decision-making can occur, and this can result in unfair treatment. How to combat the bias? Be aware of your group affiliations and their potential influence. Evaluate individuals based on their actions and merit not their group membership. Remember, understanding these biases is just the first step. The Stoics, like Epictetus, emphasized personal responsibility for our judgments. Actively analyze biases by seeking diverse perspectives, evaluating evidence objectively, and practicing critical thinking. By doing so, we cultivate clear and unbiased thinking empowering us to make sound decisions and navigate life's complexities with greater wisdom and insight. Therefore, embark on this journey of self-awareness and mental clarity. Arm yourself with knowledge of cognitive biases, and like a skilled navigator correcting a faulty compass, chart your course towards a more informed and discerning future. Lesson number four, gather evidence and seek diverse perspectives. Imagine forming an opinion about a complicated issue based on only one news article or a discussion with someone who shares your views. It's like painting a masterpiece with only one color. You might capture a piece of the truth, but you won't see the whole picture. The Stoics, who valued reason and logic, understood the importance of considering multiple perspectives and we should do the same in our modern world. Why is it so important to seek out diverse perspectives? Our brains tend to take shortcuts and favor information confirming our beliefs while ignoring evidence. This creates echo chambers that reinforce our views without ever challenging them. Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it is not the event itself that troubles us, but our views about it. By actively seeking a wide range of options or alternative views on any issue, we can expand our understanding. Exposing ourselves to different viewpoints increases our knowledge and reveals nuances and complexities that we might not have otherwise seen. Identify our biases Engaging with diverse perspectives helps us to recognize our preconceived notions and prejudices. This self-awareness allows us to evaluate our thinking more critically and reduce the influence of our unconscious biases. Strengthen the foundation of our beliefs. When we reach conclusions based on a comprehensive examination of evidence and viewpoints, our beliefs are more robust. Respectful debate allows us to sharpen our arguments, identify potential weaknesses, and develop intellectual resilience. So how can we actively seek out diverse perspectives? 
Here are some practical steps. Consult credible sources. Seek out a variety of news outlets, academic journals, and expert opinions that represent different viewpoints and methodologies. Be mindful of confirmation bias and search for information that challenges your beliefs. Engage in respectful dialogue. Don't shy away from discussions with people with different opinions. Ask questions, listen actively, and strive to understand their perspectives even if you disagree. Remember, respectful dialogue is about mutual learning and growth, not winning. Embrace diverse forms of media. Explore documentaries, podcasts, and books that offer unique perspectives on various topics. Immerse yourself in different cultures and experiences to broaden your world view and challenge your assumptions. Challenge your echo chamber. Step outside your social media circles and comfort zones. Seek out communities with diverse viewpoints and engage in constructive conversations. Remember, intellectual growth often occurs beyond the familiar. Gathering evidence and seeking diverse perspectives is not about abandoning your beliefs. It's about enriching your understanding, acknowledging the world's complexity, and fostering intellectual humility. As you embark on this journey, remember the words of Stoic philosopher Seneca. The truth will never injure you, no matter how harsh it may seem. Embrace the challenge, broaden your horizons, and weave a tapestry of understanding reflecting reality's multifaceted nature. With an open mind and a thirst for knowledge, you'll cultivate clear thinking and navigate life's complexities with greater wisdom and insight. Lesson number five, slow down and reflect. Imagine walking through a dangerous mountain pass during the night. Every step must be deliberate, measured, and based on careful observation. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to be hasty, but just as haste can be dangerous in a treacherous mountain pass, it can also lead to disastrous consequences in our daily lives. The Stoics, masters of self-control and thoughtful action, recognized the immense value of slowing down and reflecting. The famous Stoic emperor, Marcus Aurelius, once said, Don't waste time debating what a good man should be. Be one. In the modern context, his advice can be translated to mean that we shouldn't get lost in debates, but instead act with deliberate choice. Why is it important to slow down and reflect to think clearly? In the hustle and bustle of daily life, we often react impulsively, relying on automatic and knee-jerk reactions. This can lead to rushed decisions, missed opportunities, and unintended consequences. By incorporating mindful reflection into our decision-making process, we can realize several benefits. A more precise understanding of the situation. Rushing into decisions may prevent us from fully grasping the context, gathering necessary information, and considering all options. Taking time to reflect allows us to analyze the situation from different angles, identify potential complexities, and understand the issue better. Reduced emotional influence. Decisions made at the moment and fueled by strong emotions can be clouded and short-sighted. Slowing down allows us to distance ourselves from the immediate emotional charge, enabling a calmer and more rational evaluation of the situation. Identification of potential consequences. Hurrying often blinds us to the broader implications of our choices. Reflection empowers us to anticipate possible outcomes, foresee unintended consequences, and make decisions aligned with our long-term goals and values. Cultivation of self-awareness. By pausing and reflecting, we gain valuable insights into our thought patterns, biases, and emotional triggers. Our self-awareness empowers us to live by our genuine selves and principles, enabling us to make choices that resonate with our inner being. But how can we incorporate this practice into our busy lives? Here are some practical steps. Schedule reflection time. Set aside specific time for reflection, even if it's just 10 minutes a day. 
Use this time to journal, meditate, or simply sit quietly and contemplate your thoughts and experiences. Ask yourself guiding questions. Before making a decision, take a moment to ask yourself questions like, Did I think of all the possible choices? And what could happen if I pick one over the others? Or, does this decision align with my values and goals? Seek external perspectives. Discuss your thoughts and concerns with trusted friends, mentors or professionals. Their insights can offer valuable feedback and broaden your perspective. Practice mindfulness. By practicing mindfulness exercises like deep breathing or being present at the moment, we can cultivate a mindful approach to decision making. This helps us detach from impulsive reactions and make more thoughtful choices. Remember, slowing down and reflecting is not about procrastination or indecisiveness. It's about cultivating deliberate choice, a cornerstone of clear thinking and responsible action. By incorporating these practices into your life, you'll develop the wisdom and composure to navigate the world's complexities with greater clarity and purpose. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, the greatest remedy for anger is delay. Embrace the pause, engage in mindful reflection, and watch your decision-making transform for the better. Lesson number six. Embrace logic and reason. Have you ever tried navigating through a stormy sea without a compass? It can be challenging. Similarly, when we make decisions solely based on emotions, it can sometimes lead us astray. The Stoics, proponents of reason and logic, understood this danger. They believed that reason was the key to clear thinking as it helped separate emotions from judgment. Why is it so important to embrace logic and reason for clear thinking? While emotions can add depth to our experiences, they can also cloud our judgment, making us make impulsive decisions, skewed interpretations and biased perceptions. By incorporating logic and reason into our thinking, we unlock several benefits, recognizing emotional biases. Emotions often trigger hidden biases that influence our reasoning without conscious awareness. Logic and reason help us identify and overcome these biases. Evaluating evidence objectively, emotions can skew our interpretation of evidence, leading us to pick information that confirms our beliefs. Logic and reason allow us to objectively analyze evidence, consider all sides of an issue, and draw conclusions based on facts. Identifying logical fallacies. Emotions can cloud our ability to recognize flawed reasoning patterns. Logic and reason equip us with the tools to identify logical fallacies and prevent us from being misled by bad arguments. Making well-reasoned decisions. When emotions take the driver's seat, our choices often become impulsive and short-sighted. Logic and reason allow us to step back, weigh options carefully, and choose a course of action aligned with our long-term goals and values. However, embracing logic and reason does not mean ignoring emotions altogether. They are valuable data points, offering insights into our values, needs, and desires. The key is acknowledging their presence while not letting them dictate our choices. Here are some practical steps to cultivate this balance. Identify your emotional triggers. Reflect on situations that evoke strong emotions. Understanding these triggers empowers you to anticipate their influence and respond more rationally. Label your emotions. When experiencing intense emotions, name them and acknowledge their presence. This simple act can create a space between you and your feelings, allowing for more objective observation. Seek diverse perspectives. Discuss your thoughts and feelings with trusted individuals who can offer objective feedback and challenge your emotional biases. Delay judgment. In emotionally charged situations, resist the urge to react immediately. Give yourself time to cool down, gather information, 
and logically reason before deciding. Remember, embracing logic and reason is not about suppressing emotions. It's about cultivating a harmonious relationship where emotions inform but don't control your thinking. By wielding the compass of reason alongside the map of your emotions, you navigate life's complexities with greater clarity, purpose, and well-reasoned decisions. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus wisely stated, it is not the event itself that troubles us, but our views about it. Choose your views wisely, informed by logic and reason, and chart a course toward a fulfilling and meaningful future. Lesson number seven, beware of emotional hijacking. Have you ever experienced a sudden storm while sailing a ship? The wind howls, waves crash, and the visibility drops down. If you are unprepared, the storm can quickly take over, throwing your vessel around and putting you at the mercy of the elements. Similarly, when our emotions are intense and unregulated, they can take over our thinking, leading us to make impulsive decisions and flawed judgments. The Stoics were masters of self-control and clear thinking and were well aware of this danger. They believed that our emotional tyrant could temporarily depose our rational mind, resulting in actions we might regret later. Why is emotional hijacking such a threat to clear thinking? When our emotions are strong, our brain's alarm system, the amygdala, takes over, shutting down the prefrontal cortex, the center of reason and logic. This primal response is designed for immediate survival but it can lead us astray in everyday life. Here's how. Impaired decision-making. Our emotions can cloud our judgment, making us prone to impulsive choices that we may regret later. We might say hurtful things in anger, make rash financial decisions, or act out in ways that damage relationships. Distorted interpretations. Our emotions can warp our perception of reality, making us see things as worse or better than they actually are. We might overreact to minor setbacks, personalize neutral comments, or jump to negative conclusions without evidence. Fueling conflict, unmanaged emotions can escalate disputes, leading to arguments, misunderstandings, and strained relationships. We might say hurtful things, act defensively, or shut down communication altogether. So, how can we prevent emotional hijacking and regain our thinking throne? The Stoics, with their emphasis on self-awareness and emotional regulation, offer some valuable tools. Mindfulness. With consistent practice of mindfulness meditation, we can develop the ability to recognize our emotions as they surface. Through this awareness, we can observe our emotions without judgment and choose how to respond. This creates space between the stimulus and our reaction, empowering us to lead calmly and intentionally. Deep breathing. In moments of overwhelm, simply taking slow, deep breaths can do wonders. Activating the parasympathetic nervous system can promote relaxation and reduce the fight-or-flight response. This process has been known to help people calm down and ease anxiety. This helps calm our body and mind, allowing for more rational thought and a sense of peace. Cognitive restructuring. We can challenge negative thought patterns that fuel emotional reactions. We can ask ourselves, is this thought accurate? Are there alternative perspectives? What evidence supports this thought? By reframing our thinking, we can de-escalate emotional intensity, taking a step back. If we feel our emotions taking over, we can remove ourselves from the situation physically or mentally. We can take a walk, listen to calming music, or engage in a relaxing activity. This creates space for our emotions to subside and allows for clearer thinking upon our return. Remember, emotional hijacking is not a sign of weakness it's a natural human response. However, by understanding the risks and equipping ourselves with these tools, we can regain control of our emotions 
and cultivate clear thinking even amidst life's storms. As Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, reminds us, the object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to be on the side of the truth. By mastering our emotions, we stay true to our values, make sound decisions, and navigate life with greater clarity and purpose. So, let's be the captains of our ships, weather emotional storms with grace, and steer our thinking toward a brighter, more fulfilling journey. Lesson number eight. Practice active listening. If you're faced with a puzzle that's missing pieces, you won't be able to solve it, no matter how skilled you are, as you need the complete picture. In the same way, navigating life's complexities requires understanding diverse perspectives, and active listening is the key to unlocking these crucial puzzle pieces. The Stoics, known for their emphasis on clear thinking and open communication, recognized the importance of this vital skill. Epictetus, their esteemed philosopher, once said, A wise man must learn how to argue on behalf of his own opinion, without malice towards those who oppose him, emphasizing the significance of active listening, not just for defending our views, but also for genuinely comprehending the viewpoints of others. Why is active listening so crucial for clear thinking? In today's fast-paced world, we often fall into the trap of passive listening, where we hear words but fail to understand their true meaning. This can lead to misinterpretations, missed opportunities for learning, and even unnecessary conflict. Active listening, however, goes beyond mere hearing. It is a conscious effort to focus on the speaker, avoid getting distracted, focus your gaze on the speaker, and give them undivided attention, which includes observing their body language and tone of voice. Empathize with the speaker. Try to understand the speaker's perspective, emotions and experiences, even if you disagree. This fosters genuine connection and opens the door to deeper understanding. Ask clarifying questions. Don't hesitate to ask questions to ensure you understand the speaker's meaning accurately. This demonstrates your interest and encourages the speaker to elaborate, providing a richer picture of their perspective. Avoid interrupting. Resist the urge to jump in with your thoughts or opinions. Give the speaker space to fully express themselves and avoid hindering the flow of communication. Reflect and summarize. After listening, take a moment to reflect on what you've heard. Briefly summarize the speaker's main points to demonstrate your understanding and encourage further dialogue. By incorporating these practices, active listening unlocks several benefits. Enhanced understanding. You gain a deeper appreciation for diverse viewpoints, expanding your knowledge and challenging your biases. Reduced conflict. By truly understanding others' perspectives, you can approach disagreements with empathy and respect, fostering more constructive communication. Stronger relationships. Active listening builds trust and rapport, strengthening connections with others and creating a more positive social environment. Improved problem solving. Understanding complex issues comprehensively is possible by considering multiple perspectives which can lead to more effective solutions. Remember, active listening is not just a skill, it's a mindset. It's about approaching conversations with curiosity, humility, and a genuine desire to learn from others. As Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic philosopher, reminds us, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Be an active listener who seeks understanding over arguments and watch your world expand with clarity, empathy, and deeper connections. Listen attentively, use your cognitive abilities, and seek to actively comprehend every conversation, unraveling its valuable insights. Lesson number nine, value clarity and precision. 
Imagine navigating through a dense forest using a blurry map where every path seems uncertain and ambiguous. Similarly, one needs to have clear thinking and precise communication to navigate life's complexities like a sharpened blade that can cut through ambiguity. The Stoics, famous for their emphasis on reason and logic, highly valued this principle. As the Roman philosopher and statesman Seneca once said, the shortest and surest way is to lay the cards on the table. This statement highlights the importance of clarity and precision in thought and communication. Why is it so important to value clarity and precision for clear thinking? When our thoughts and language are clear, we avoid misunderstandings, ineffective problem-solving, and reduced credibility. Ambiguous communication can result in misinterpretations and missed opportunities for connection. Others may need help understanding our true intentions, leading to frustration and conflict. Unclear thinking hampers our ability to identify the root cause of problems and formulate effective solutions. We may only treat the symptoms rather than address the underlying issue, resulting in repeated struggles. Finally, vague language can undermine our confidence and authority. When we express ourselves clearly and precisely, we command respect and make a more impactful contribution to conversations. There are steps that we can implement to enhance our thought processes and the way we convey information. First, we should define important terms and concepts before discussing complex issues. Secondly, we can break down complicated ideas into smaller, more understandable portions using simple and straightforward language. Thirdly, we can make our ideas more relatable by providing specific examples. Fourthly, we can ask for feedback from others and ask clarifying questions to respond to their reactions to our communication. Lastly, it's essential to take a moment to gather our thoughts before speaking instead of feeling rushed to fill every silence with words. We can enjoy several benefits by valuing clarity and precision, including enhanced communication, sharper thinking, increased credibility, and improved problem-solving abilities. Clear communication fosters understanding, strengthens relationships, and paves the way for productive collaboration. Defining terms, breaking down concepts, and using specific examples force us to think critically and identify potential areas of ambiguity in our thought process. When we express ourselves clearly and precisely, we project confidence and authority, making our ideas more impactful. By clearly defining the problem and using precise language, we are better equipped to identify the root cause and develop practical solutions. Remember, clarity and precision are not just about effective communication, but also the cornerstones of clear thinking. By cultivating this practice, we can better navigate life's complexities and empower ourselves and others to make sense of the world around us. So, sharpen your thoughts, embrace the power of clear language, and watch your communication and understanding soar to new heights. Lesson number 10. Embrace continuous learning. Imagine a woodcutter who has to chop down a considerable tree using a blunt saw. The task becomes difficult and progress could be faster. Like a sharp saw, continuous learning empowers the mind to navigate life's complexities with clarity and agility. The Stoics, known for their commitment to self-improvement, understood this principle well. The Roman Emperor and Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius urged people to live as if you were to live another hundred years. He was emphasizing the importance of lifelong learning and personal growth, why is embracing continuous learning crucial for clear thinking? Our brains, like our muscles, become weak without exercise. As we get used to familiar routines and perspectives, our ability to think critically and creatively can decline. However, continuous learning acts as a potent elixir with several benefits. 
expanding your knowledge base. By exposing yourself to new ideas, different disciplines, and challenging perspectives, you broaden your understanding of the world and challenge your assumptions. This enriches your thinking and enhances your ability to connect seemingly unrelated ideas. Boosting Cognitive Agility Challenging your mind with activities such as acquiring a new language, solving puzzles, or engaging in debates helps you maintain mental acuity and flexibility. It strengthens your cognitive muscles, enhancing your ability to analyze information, identify patterns, and draw sound conclusions. Challenging your biases We all have conscious and unconscious biases that can distort our thinking. Continuous learning provides opportunities to confront these biases by encountering alternative viewpoints and engaging in critical self-reflection. This fosters intellectual humility and equips you with a more objective lens for viewing the world. Sparkling curiosity and creativity. A stagnant mind is fertile ground for boredom and intellectual stagnation. Continuous learning, on the other hand, ignites curiosity and fuels creativity. As you explore new concepts and challenge yourself, you unlock hidden potential and discover innovative solutions to complex problems. So, how do you cultivate a love for learning and integrate it into your daily life? Here are some practical steps. Embrace daily learning. Dedicate even small pockets of time to learning. Read articles on diverse topics. Listen to podcasts while commuting or take online courses that pique your interest. Seek out intellectual challenges. Join a book club. Participate in stimulating conversations with friends and colleagues or engage in online forums that foster critical thinking. Make learning a social experience. Discuss new ideas with friends, family or online communities. Sharing your learning journey with others enhances understanding, fosters accountability and sparks even deeper exploration. Step outside your comfort zone. Explore unfamiliar disciplines, read books by authors with opposing viewpoints, or attend lectures on topics you know little about. Pushing your intellectual boundaries broadens your perspective and challenges your assumptions. Practice critical thinking exercises. Dedicate time to actively analyze news articles, identify logical fallacies in arguments you encounter, or deconstruct your own thought processes. This deliberate training strengthens your critical thinking muscles. Remember, continuous learning is not about accumulating knowledge for its own sake. It's about cultivating a growth mindset, an insatiable curiosity that propels you forward on a lifelong journey of intellectual exploration. As Seneca, another Stoic philosopher wisely stated, we learn for life. Embrace this journey sharpen your mental saw, and watch your ability for clear thinking flourish in a world full of ever-evolving challenges and opportunities. So, embark on this adventure of lifelong learning and witness your mind transform into a powerful tool for navigating the complexities of life with ever-expanding wisdom and clarity. Lesson number 11. Take care of yourself. Cultivating a flourishing garden in barren soil is like trying to develop clear thinking without caring for your physical and mental well-being. The Stoics, who believed in self-mastery and holistic living, recognized the significant connection between the two. They believed that genuine well-being and clear thinking are rooted in healthy habits and self-care. As Epictetus, their renowned philosopher, stated, Man is not disturbed by events, but by the views he takes of them. This wisdom highlights that self-care is essential for optimal mental well-being. Taking care of yourself is crucial for clear thinking, because the mind and body are not separate entities, but a complex, intertwined system. When one aspect suffers, the other also feels the impact. 
You can enhance your cognitive abilities in many ways by taking care of your physical and mental health. Chronic sleep deprivation can impair cognitive function, making it challenging to focus, remember information, and think critically. It can also lead to emotional dysregulation, impulsivity, and poor decision-making. Unhealthy eating habits can dull your thinking, weaken memory, and contribute to brain fog. On the other hand, a balanced diet rich in brain-boosting nutrients like omega-3, fatty acids fuels your cognitive engine for optimal performance. By leading an active lifestyle, we can ensure adequate blood flow to the brain, which helps to strengthen neural connections and enhance cognitive function. However, exercising regularly can improve focus, memory, and overall brain health. This creates an optimal environment for clear thinking. To cultivate a nurturing environment for clear thinking, you need to take practical steps such as make quality sleep a priority by getting seven to eight hours of peaceful sleep every night. Set a consistent sleep routine, develop a calming bedtime ritual, and steer clear of electronic screens an hour before bed. Nourishing your brain with wholesome foods can help you achieve optimal brain health and cognitive function. Brain-boosting foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein can improve your overall well-being. Choose sources of omega-3 fatty acids such as fatty fish, walnuts, and flax seeds to keep your cognitive function in top shape. Your body is your greatest asset. Nurture it with wholesome foods and nourishing drinks to empower your mind and soul. Staying active is crucial. Dedicating 30 minutes of your day to physical activity can help you achieve your goals. Whether it's brisk walking, swimming, dancing or team sports, find an activity you enjoy to make it more enjoyable. Exercising regularly can strengthen your brain's cognitive function, increase blood flow and reduce stress, resulting in a more focused and clear mind. To manage stress effectively and improve mental clarity, relaxation techniques such as yoga, deep breathing or meditation can be helpful. Practice mindfulness to understand your thoughts and emotions without being critical. This helps you recognize negative thought processes that can influence your thinking and substitute them with more impartial viewpoints. Remember that taking care of yourself is not selfish, but an investment in your overall well-being. By prioritizing healthy habits and self-care, you create a fertile ground for clear thinking, emotional resilience, and a life filled with greater clarity, purpose, and achievement. As Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, advised, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. Be someone who prioritizes well-being, cultivates a healthy mind and body, and watches your ability for transparent thinking blossom, guiding you towards a fulfilling and meaningful life. Just keep in mind that adopting these stoic principles is a process that requires continuous effort rather than a one-time achievement. As you apply these teachings to your daily routine, you'll perceive a change in your perspective an improved ability to confront obstacles with lucidity and a fresh sense of control over your thoughts and behaviors. So start this life-changing journey, cultivate your stoic mentality and unleash the full potential of your cognitive abilities.